Well, greetings, and welcome back to another episode of 52 Puzzles. Today I bring you another classic puzzle, the Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Uh, this puzzle actually goes by a number of different names. Tower of Hanoi is one of the most popular names. Uh, it also goes by Tower of Brahma and uh, also the Lucas Tower. Uh, which is in fact named after its inventor, Edouard Lucas, a uh, French mathematician who invented this puzzle in the late 19th century. Uh, I believe it was 1883. Anyway, it's a great puzzle and it comes in a number of different iterations. I have here a seven ring puzzle. Um, there are puzzles that are less rings, there are puzzles that are more rings. Um, the object of this puzzle is to move this tower of rings, there are seven rings here, uh, from this location to this location, and or vice versa if it were stacked here. There are only two rules. You can only move one ring at a time, Okay, and you can never lay a larger ring on top of a smaller ring. So those are the only two rules. It is a great puzzle and um, there is uh, a lot of uh, mathematicians enjoy this puzzle. Uh, there are a lot of different math equations that can be employed to solve this puzzle uh, in a mathematic format. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this is a very popular assignment for year one graduate uh, uh, engineering students or computer engineers or mathematicians, uh, math students, uh, to write an algorithm to solve this problem uh, or this puzzle. So there is a math equation that you can apply to this puzzle to tell you what the minimum number of moves required to solve the puzzle are. And that math equation is very simple. It is two to the nth power minus one, where n is the number of rings in your tower. So for example, my seven ring tower uh, requires 2 to the seventh power minus 1. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 128 minus 1 is 127. So this seven ring tower requires a minimum of 127 moves to get it to this location to that location. There are lots of other ways to solve the puzzle, but you're never going to solve this seven ring tower uh, in less than 127 moves. So uh, that's a lot of moves uh, to show you the solution. So I'm going to, uh, for the purpose of demonstrating a solution to this puzzle, I'm going to do a five ring tower. So I'm going to remove these bottom two pieces, so the uh, sixth and seventh rings, we'll set those aside. So I have a five ring tower, and the five ring tower, again if we apply the math principle, five, uh, I'm sorry, two to the fifth power minus one, uh, two to the fifth power is 32, minus one is 31. So. Uh, a minimum number of moves to solve this puzzle is 31 moves. Again, you can take a lot more moves to solve the puzzle if you like. Um, so I'm going to show you the solution to this five ring tower. And uh, as always, if you don't want to see the solution, I thank you for watching to this point. But uh, if you would like to see the solution, hang in there because here it comes. Okay, so the solution to the five ring tower of Hanoi puzzle, or the Lucas Tower, 
goes like this. I'm going to solve this, I'm going to attempt to solve this in the, with uh, making the minimum number of moves being 31. So I'm going to count as I do this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and the last ring, whoops, <laughs> 31. And there you have it. The five ring Tower of Hanoi moved from that location to that location in 31 moves. It was a trick that I employed to solve that puzzle. I knew it would take 31 moves from the math equation that we applied. Um, but the key to solving this puzzle, if you're interested, uh, has to do with the smallest piece in the tower. And what I mean by that is, if you go back and watch what I just did, you'll note that I move this small piece every other move. And every other move, I am moving it across these uh, posts in order. So I started here, then I went here, then I went here, then I went back here, then here, then here, then back here, then here, then here, then back here, then here, then here, until I had solved the puzzle. Moving the other pieces um, in their logic order. Obviously, if I move this piece here, I can't put this one over this because it's smaller. I can't, I have to move it, so it has to go there, and so forth. So the key, again, is to move uh, this one in the one, two, three order like I, I just showed. Now that is, by the way, starting in this location if it is an odd number of rings in the tower. If it's an even number of rings in the tower, then we start in this location and go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that has to do with the binary uh, principle involved with, with solving this in the minimum number of moves. So that's the secret to solving it in the minimum number of moves. Again, you can take as many moves as possible and sometimes you may not solve this puzzle. As the tower gets larger and larger, it gets very uh, complex as you get down into the tower. Uh, there's a legend that uh, the, the name Tower of Brahma, which is another name that this puzzle goes by, uh, suggests that the, uh, in the Indian temple, uh, one of the famous Indian temples to uh, the Lord Shiva, uh, has three posts and in this temple are the, the Brahmin peace, well, priests, that along with the three posts, um, time-worn posts that are in this temple, there are 64 gold discs. And the Brahmin priests are attempting to uh, do what we just did here, move the tower of these 64 discs from one of the posts to the the last post. Well, if you apply our first math principle that we talked about, the equation that tells you the minimum number of moves 
well a 64 disc uh, tower if you do 2 to the 64th power minus 1 my calculator wouldn't even give me a number that big <laughs> so I'd have to go on the computer but I actually did go on the p computer and found some information that suggests if those priests were able to move one disc every second okay and they did it in the logical order one disc every second okay would take 585 billion years <laughs> to solve so the legend has it that if it is solved uh, the it's supposed to mean the end of the world has uh, will come or has come so that's the uh, legend and that's uh, that legend exists also with some other uh, uh, religions as well some monks and so forth uh, but anyway this is a great math puzzle it's a lot of fun it's a very very popular puzzle I'm sure uh, most of you have seen this before maybe didn't know quite how it worked but uh, it's a good one and I use this also to meditate to you get into a rhythm uh, with this and it's a great puzzle to uh, sort of balance that rhythm with the uh, having to think about the complexity of what you're doing so there you have it the Tower of Hanoi or the Eduard Lucas Tower <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for joining me again and uh, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe I'm a new channel I'm only one month into this and uh, I've got about uh, 13 puzzles up now it's the channel's called 52 puzzles and it's my intention to bring you a new puzzle at least one every week so until next time I look forward to seeing you enjoy your puzzling good night <laughs>